promises to be an exciting class as well and is a follow-up on what I did in the last class. So what I want to do today is to show you how to draft to use a simple dart for your top, for your bodies. And this same dart applies to even when you're making a dress. So we have our measurements in place. We have the bust line, the waistline, and the bottom of our top. We have our shoulder. We have our extra inch for our seam allowance. And the reason I left two inches seam allowance is because I wanted to make allowance for today's class, which is forming our darts. So to form our darts, it depends on your size. So it can be anywhere from the folded, you start measuring the point for your darts from the folded part of your material. So it depends on your size, like I said. For small sizes, when I say small sizes, I mean maybe size 4 to about size 8, 4 inches from this point is okay to draft your dart. Then from size 12 upwards, you want to use 4 and a half from this point to draft your dart. Then from size 18, because most times size 18s are wider, so the bust, one bust point to the other is always wider. So I recommend you use five inches from your folded fabric, from the folded point of your fabric. So you measure from that point, five inches. Okay, and I think that's as far as it goes. So if you make your distance between the two bust points too wide, what you're going to discover is that your dart is not going to serve the purpose that is meant to serve. And what purpose does your dart serve? It serves the purpose of defining your shape or giving more fit to your dress so you don't want a situation where your dart is to the sides or you know away from your breast point so it should come under your breast point it should be just midway okay in the middle of your boobs so it should be aligned with your nipple your nipple point that's the essence that's the word so this you remember when i cut last time this was actually a size 10. so a size 10 four inches from the folded part is perfect. So I'm going to do four inches from the folded part. I'm just going to mark four inches. I come to the waistline. I'm also going to do four inches and I go to the bottom. I also do four inches. So I just want this line to guide us and that's why I'm doing this four inches mark. So once I've done this, so if your size is bigger, you want to do what is appropriate for your size. So I'm going to get that ruler and i'm just going to rule all the way to the bottom okay so this is our dart line so now what do we do with this dart line is with this line we're going to give shape to our, our bodies now if you if you notice i didn't do it all the way to the top because it's not necessary this point is almost where you have your breast point your breast point differs with every size we don't all have the same breast point. So for you to get your breast point, all you need to do is to get your tape, place on the top of your shoulder and measure where, measure to the nipple point. Then you're going to get your breast point. So for a size 10, most times the bust point is about 10 and a half. So I'm going to do 11 because of sewing allowance at the top. So 10 and a half, but I'm or nine and a half is okay. So I'm going to do 10 and a half for a size 10. 9 and a half, okay. So 10. So I'm going to just rule my line. Just I don't need to rule the whole line. I'm just going to mark it so that that mark shows me where I'm going to stop my dart. I don't want my dart to go above the breast point because if it goes above, above the breast point or the bust point, it's going to flatten your breast, your bust line. I don't want that happening. So we have uh, that line. Now what we need to do is just to take off um, one inch from this point. Okay. So what you can do is take half inch this way, half inch that way. But if you want the um, your dart to be bigger, to be you want more curve, you can actually take off one and a half inches in between both um, lines, or even take off two inches. So it depends on how accentuated you want your silhouette to be. 
So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be taking off 1.5 inches in between this line. So to make it more accurate, instead of me using the inches part of my tape, I'm going to be using the centimeters part, which is four centimeter. So I'm going to place it on this line. That means I need to take off two centimeters at this point, then two centimeters at the other side of the line. So that's my two centimeters both ways. So get your ruler, just place on the line where you have the two centimeters and place also on the other side where we have our breast point, our bust point. So all you need to do is just roll to meet each other from point A to point B. And you can also come to the other side and you also connect from the top of the bust point, okay, to meet where you took off the one 0.5 inches or 4 centimeters. So once this is done, you also come to the bottom of your dress or your top, okay, and you mark from that center point, you form the angle from the beginning or again, and you do the same thing to the other side. It's that simple. And voila, that's your dart. It's that easy. You have your dart. So when you're going to be sewing, all you need to do is to take your fabric your, or your paper. This is, a, this is a paper. You're not showing your paper. So your fabric. You just place. Make sure the center point of your dart is that way. Okay. It's in the middle. Then you sew along this line. So once you sew along that line, you're going to get an impeccable and well-tailored bodies. So now that we've done this to the front part of our bodies, we need to do the same thing to the back part of the bodies. So before that, remember what you took here is going to eat up what you have here. Okay. So on a good day, if I was going to be cutting this on fabric, I will make sure that from this point to this point, I don't give a shaping. Just make sure it's straight. Okay. Don't take off your fabric. Don't remove any fabric from this point leave it as it is and just make it straight because by the time you take off this here this will be lost so you want to have more fabric in here so once you're done with that you're going to find that when you're done with your that you're going to find out that, that this curve is going to be obvious then you can check your measurements for your seam, seam allowance and cut off whatever you don't need so this is the way to make your that so what we've done here, we're going to go to the back of the back piece and replicate it as well. So this is my back piece. And all I need to do now is to do the same thing I did with my, um, with the front piece. So I'm going to take four inches here. Okay, four inches. Um, four inches. Okay, I don't need to go all the way to the top. But you can go all the way to the top. It depends on you really. Because this is the back piece okay so get your ruler and I'm going to mark this I'm going to connect my dots all right so this is my dot line at the back so what I did in front I'm also going to do here so this is the waist so my my measurement starts from the waist point, okay? That's why it's always good to have this line, it guides you. So I'm going to do the same thing, but the only difference is at the back, I don't need to take off as much. All I need to take off for my data allowance is just one inch. So I need half an inch this way, half an inch that way. So that's what I'm going to do, half an inch this way, half an inch this way. So now how long should your dart go? It depends on you. You can do your dart and stop it just somewhere before your arm O. You can also make your dart go all the way to the neckline. If you want your dart to go all the way to the top of your um, material or your dress or your um, outfit, then please don't take off the arm O unless you've done your dart. And that's why you notice that when I finished drafting this pattern, I didn't cut off the arm O. You wait until you're done with your dart, with your darts, then you can now iron, check what you have and cut off what you don't need. Because if you take your dart all the way to the top and you've already cut your arm all, this sewing here is going to eat into your arm all. So please be careful 
and do this all before you take off your arm oh that way you don't get to make any mistakes so let's do the same thing we did so if you want to take it all the way to the top all you need to do is get your ruler like this okay and you start ruling from the top but in that case the top you are not going to make it as sharp as you did the front you're just going to make it a bit straight you take just a little you know as you go on like that then as you go to the bottom the bottom can be pointed okay so we go all the way to make the bottom so you come this way as well and you take off just a little bit and the top is not it doesn't have to be because if it's, if it's as pointed as what you have in the front it's going to be looking awkward because at the back you don't have um boobs it's flat so you don't want to make the top part too tiny because it will go into your seam but if you're not getting to the top you can make it pointed but if you wanted to get to the top you can just make it straight like this and also another thing you can do don't cut your neckline until you must have finished doing your darting okay then after doing your darting you can now cut off your neckline that will make it um, still very easy and avoid making any errors or mistakes as you saw so that's our dart for the back it's that easy so i also do what you call the zip dart and the zip dart reinforces your waist dart why is the zip dart important the zip dart is important because of the fit sometimes some tailors make clothes and you find that this part bulges it bulges and it's not flat because they didn't make a zip dart but after you've done your regular dart and you now do your zip dart you're going to eliminate that error so how do you do your zip that your zip that you just take off one inch at that point where you have this you took off this so you come here as well to this point where you have your waist where your back curves the most you place your tip there and you take off one inch for your zip that so you see this one inch we're going to just take our ruler and we're going to place it as if we are making it that like we made in the side so we're going to go this way as it goes up it goes out it flattens out a little so you know you know it's not becoming one inch it becomes half an inch at the top so that's like our zip that so we'll come to the waist again and we'll start doing the same thing all the way to the bottom so as it goes outward downwards it becomes half an inch at the bottom so you get this okay so that serves as your zip that so for your zip that you will need to take your scissors and cut that off so once you cut that off you're going to get a dart here a dart here so it cinches your waist properly eliminates the fold and gives you an impeccable body so now um we want to see how to make a princess that a princess that is as is almost the same thing as making um, your regular that the only difference is that there is a curve you know it's curved you know nicely so all you need to do is to come this is your arm o you around the arm o you come a little to the top there's really no measurement for it but you want to judge using just you know with your eyes where will be appropriate and that's about two inches about two inches or two and a half inches from where your arm all ends so let's say somewhere there okay so you see it's going to connect nicely to this part so all you need to do is to make that connection okay to go and meet your bust point okay so you see that the curve is made you just make that curve and you can use a ruler but as it gets to that point, you make sure this part is not um, sharp, that it's really flat and nice. So you cut off what you have here. And you once you cut off this, you get that thing that you want. So cutting a princess that is that easy. That's all you really need to do. And at the back as well, if you want the same princess that, what you did in front, you need to do to the back. So you need to cut connect about two inches or two and a half inches from the arm hole for white ends and you come to meet this point so you come 
at that point you just come like that make a curve and you meet the center okay so you're going to take off what you have here you're going to take off some parts of the back and you still have your cut or your princess back so in this case for your princess cut or the shape at the back you start moving your um half an inch from the side you're going to change the pattern of your dart so instead of just having it straight like this you're going to have something like this okay at the sides you know you take that off then also by the side so now this uh, pattern that we cut we need to now arrange this to transfer to a fabric so if it is just your vertical dart you can just decide to you don't need to cut all you need to do is place this on the fabric cut it okay then you're going to form this on your fabric the same pattern and just sew around the dart but what i want to do now is to do the actual cutting because i want to make i want to use the entire princess that so all i'm going to do is cut around the sides like that so this is just a that is not the it's like princess that here yeah, i would say it's a princess that not the Viennese that okay so now if you put this back together you're going to notice that this part has disappeared so that's our that so all we need to do now is get our fabric so I'm going to get my fabric and I'm going to place on the table and I'm going to fold into two because this is the actual fabric we're going to be sewing on this so no longer a pattern so i'm going to place this side where you have the neckline it has to be on the folded side because you don't want to tear that off so don't forget it needs to be folded and this is the front okay the front piece i'm placing it right there and i'm going to take the other side and i'm going to place just by the side so if you want you can get a pin and pin this out so pin it on your fabric so it doesn't move so now i'm going to get my scissors and i'm just going to cut around it i'm going to cut the neckline up here this way okay i can decide to cut off the shoulder but i want to finish the that before i'm going to come back to the shoulder so I'm going to cut all around this and if you like, if you feel maybe you may run into problems because of your um, allowance, you can just make this add like half an inch or one inch to the side and you cut all around that. So I'm going to do that right away. I just want to add just a little bit because when I was cutting this pattern, I didn't cut with my size in view and I think I want to make it for me ends. I left a little bit of allowance there. So at the bottom too, I'm going to leave just about one inch so it's longer for me. All right. So now I've done this, now I'm going to cut in between. So now <clears throat> I've used the paper that I cut and I have two pieces like you can see. So this was this, okay? And this is the other part of it, as you can see. So if you put it together, you're going to notice we still have the space in between and that's our that. So what we're going to do now is to sew. So you're going to take, because you cut two pieces, one to that to the side and the other to the other side so we're going to start stitching all the way to the top all the way to the top then we're going to get our bodies ready then i'll take off the shoulder and i'm going to cut a facing for my neckline 